me a few things about outdoor. Who's planning on working outdoor in here? <clears throat> All of you. Good. You're not? Yeah. <laughs> you got a quick hand there. Okay. <clears throat> you I don't know about because you're not here. <laughs> Edit point. Right, right now, at this moment, we've got for outdoor next season, or this season coming up, 96 referees 96. that are currently qualified via classes and mentorship and all that stuff. That's before research. That's before any research. Yeah, we haven't done research one yet. Who's taken the referee class between September 15th and this moment? Anybody in this room? Okay, so besides Keith, me, and the mentor sitting here, none of you guys are qualified yet. Which means you got to take your research. You don't have to research. Are you a mentor? Okay. Did I answer that question already? Yeah, I just thought that's right. He was late for that. No. Anyway. Okay. For those of you who still need to take research, we have two dates: the 28th of January, five to seven, in this room. For those of you who didn't make it, that would be the big room at PSA. The second day is the fourth, five to seven. Okay, again in this room. <clears throat> we have a mandatory outdoor meeting, which means every referee that's gonna work needs to be there February 4th. We've got two sessions. Pick one, I only need you one. 10 to 11.30 a.m. on the fourth, or 3.30 to five on the fourth. Any questions on that? Hmm? Study halls. We have two of them for those of you that want to come in and make sure you know the rules, which for referees kind of nice. The first one will be Tuesday, January 17th, 6 to 8, in this room. That's three days from today. Keith will be here. The second one is January 22nd, that's a Sunday, 1 to 3 in this room. In the study halls, the test will not be given. It is to study, it is to help, it is to ask questions. Only. I want to be a copy of the test in the room those days. If you need the help, please show up. Okay, those of you going from second grade to third grade, it might be a real good idea to show up because some of the laws change at that point for PSA. Any questions on any of that? Oh yeah, research. The fee is ten dollars payable before we hand you the test. All right. Everybody good with that? Eighty to pass. Fill in the blank. Hundred questions. Yup. <coughs> You're writing the test. Yes, Keith is writing the test. <coughs> Your fear in the internet land when you said that. <clears throat> That's really all we've got prepared. Who has questions, comments, or weird happenings on the indoor field? Nothing? Okay. Keep Are any of you guys upset because the ones from the second through eleventh row don't show up? You work with any of those guys that are not here? If you get a chance, you might tell them what's coming down the pipe so it doesn't catch them like breaking off a tooth in a bar fight on Friday night and then waking up Saturday morning. That's rather painful. And the part about starting in outdoor season that they better be at the meetings or you're going to start losing money? Yeah. Missed two in a row and wow. And, and, and you know, down. That wasn't on camera, by the way. The, the nice thing about that is rather than make the program look like the bad person, this now puts the onus on the person that looks back in the mirror with toothbrush in hand, or some of you with a comb, not me. And, and puts the responsibility where, and by God, it lies. As, as I said in the off season here, for, for the longest doggone time, this program has been giving a darn about the ones in the second row back. And the ones in the second row back aren't giving a darn about the program. Honeymoon's over. No more. Mr. Nice Program. You will write your own check, and I will laugh at the tiny ones. Those, those that want to give something to the program, hey, there's nothing wrong with a five, $600 check every other, every other week. 
if it's 50, 60 bucks, you can look at the man in the mirror as the, as the movie title is. Okay? Um, took a long, long reflection after the fall season to come up with that. Um, the other thing in, in reference to what, what Brad and, and Jim and Ray and I forget who all is involved in the, in the coaching oh, thing. Coaches. The situation has been too long that the coaches have been doing things to the kids and not for the kids. And I, and I have I have hit with, with large mallet on the one that sits down in the big chair downstairs several, several times. And it looks finally like it's caught fire. Thank God. Some of these people that, that pass themselves off as, as coaches should be simply just passed off. Um, I, I, was, I was in the car. This was last last Sunday, Saturday, something like that, and I was, I was getting ready to leave, and I'd shut the door. And this was, this was uh, uh, orange ball people. And, and I, I start hearing this large voice from behind me saying, you realize, of course, that that last shot they got off and the reason the game was lost was because of you, right? I expected someone of your size to go walking by with this larger voice person. We're lucky if it was a nine-year-old. Didn't even look that big. And, that, and that's apparent. I don't know about you guys, but my parents, they didn't treat me that way. My parents were, were they were supportive and they, and they wanted to know what can I do to help you. Not put the weight of the world on a doggone eight or nine year old kid's shoulders and say, of course you know that that final shot, you cost them the game, right? No, and, and we're in the same boat. We're, we're, never, we're never as strong as when we reach down and help somebody else that, that needs help on the soccer field. That's when our program is the strongest. That's when we're at our best. And as, as, the, as the pyramid thing goes, we are, not as, we are not as good as our best referee. We are as good as our worst referee. That's why the program looks out for what it does and, and how it operates the way it does. It's it's time we all got one notch better. We take that bottom row and put it in the trash can where they belong. When, when you see the all hand meeting, all hand, hands, when you see the body part meeting on the fourth, you'll when, look around. See some that used to remember, that used to be here, that used to cause problems that aren't here anymore. Not welcome any longer. Go someplace else. PSA would love to have, PYSA would love to have. Would you do me a giant favor? Yeah. Would you kick this soapbox up from underneath me? Because I could go on for another hour probably. No, I'm sure you could. I, I, I appreciate you guys. You don't know how much I appreciate you guys. Common sense would tell you if you turn around and look, you, you, you all must realize the same thing I realize. And that is, I can't do it all. You can't do it all. We have to have a program that, that, that works and does the same thing for for the for the least as, as well as the greatest. And we've got people that are somewhere in the middle of the program saying, well, I, I, I don't need to do any of those small games. I have such a, a an absolute kick in the, in the rear doing the little pre-K games. I had a little kid the other day, his name was Grayson, wearing a green shirt. And I, I put the ball down and blew the whistle. The next thing I knew, I get this nudge in my backside. I look around, it's Grayson. He's got this big white grin on his face. I'm following you. <laughs> and I said, Grayson, you can go play. Shoot, go play. And you know, we're four or five different times during the game, and it was always the big, big smile. And when the whistle sounded, they didn't give a damn who won or lost. They, they looked to the parents, and the parents said, we are so proud. And that's about 85% of them. The other 15% I will not talk about. But that's, that's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. Um, I, I was telling the guys this morning, this is the largest 
private program in all of North Texas. We answer to no one except the huge board of directors that make sure that we get money to do our job. We are the envy of lots. We are the envy of, of several different entities that work for USSF. Your program works. They don't have a program that, that is like it. They're, they're rapidly trying to copy it as quick as they can. It works. Um, I'll shut up. I appreciate you guys very much.